Hi Taurus and welcome to your February 2020 mid-February love reading. So if you are just randomly browsing by, hi and welcome. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Melissa. I am here with Melissa's Intuitive Reads. Please consider subscribing if you love tarot scopes, love scopes, deck reviews, and more. If you want to see that, please consider subscribing. Everything, it's all around channel of divination. So if you are into love, if you are into general monthly readings, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that are uploaded here weekly. And we're going to go into love for you for Taurus. So this is for the sun moon rising and venus so energies to let you know this is interchangeable or vice versa and this is a general love reading so if you if this does not resonate with you with your sun sign please check your moon rising and venus and cross watch other videos as i am still uploading them so also i am doing um, a $5 three card one question reading. So email will be in the description box below if you want to sign up for that offer and I will send you more information. So let's go ahead and get started. And first I'm going to be using a brand new deck I got, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And then we are going to go into the art of allowing cards so i'll put those to the side until then so i'm going this is intuitive energy and this is energy that i'm reading at the moment and this is there is no specific spread so i'm just reading what the cards say and what intuitive messages come through so without further ado let's get started <clears throat> what's in store for torres and love what is the love energies for mid-February 2020. What is going on with Taurus love? What is going on with Taurus love? What is going on with Taurus and love? What is going on Taurus and love? You are not taking any BS. That's for sure. You're cutting through your words. <clears throat> You're cutting through communications. You're really being heard this month. Let's go ahead and take a look at other cards and see what is going on. But I feel like this is more of an influence and it's not a person. It is representing you because you are not dealing with the BS this mid-February you are telling it like it is and not caring you're moving on this flipped out and a whole bunch of cards flipped out you're moving on from situations that no longer serve you you're being heard and you're being vocal about what is happening you're moving on from either love that you're with somebody or somebody is not loving you back and you're moving on from the situation with this eight of cups here yeah i had a <laughs> three, yeah eight of cups bear with me as i am still getting used to these cards what is going on with taurus and love for mid february 2020 this is your divine feminine you're tapping into this you're tapping into the the side of yourself and when I say divine masculine, divine feminine, it's not gender. It's actually energies. And feminine, feminine energy is embracing. And when it comes to masculine energy, they're more cut and they're quick. And they don't take the BS. And I feel like this is what this is. You're tapping into your inner self-worth and you're moving on from a love that is no longer serving you and you're choosing to be happier somewhere else what is going on in taurus and love let's see what other messages come through 
this one kept popping because you're getting tired of the mindset you're getting tired of things stalling and a relationship is not going anywhere it feels like you you are bounded by this and you're moving on from this because it's no longer serving you and it's either arguments disagreements or something has happened and you're not taking it any longer what is going on in taurus and love in the present What is going on with Taurus and love in the present situation? What is going on with Taurus and love in the present situation? You feel like things weren't moving forward. There's a cup that's being offered to the man here and which is being offered to you and you're for, you're focusing on the three cups that's in the front and you're forgetting the cup that is being offered to you right in front of you. It feels like that you were trapped in this situation and it was actually weighing you down heavily. Hmm. I feel compelled to get this five of cups out. The reason being is because you're mourning something that kept you stuck, kept you in a rut, and you're tired of this energy and you're wanting to move forward. It feels like a new, this is either you or there's a new man entering your life that is a fire sign male who is coming to you quick. You're this either is the fire, you're some a fire sign male is going to be coming and entering into your life, and you're moving on from a relationship that is no longer serving you, or this is the person that you were with. But you're taking charge of a situation that was keeping you stuck. But this is the time to get out, it's time to get out of the situation. What is going on? Yeah, look, and the devil popped out. You're feeling bounded and trapped. Let me make sure these are actually in view so you can actually see all of them. See all the cards. You're feeling bounded and trapped about a relationship that wasn't helping you moving forward. You had an unsupported partner that wasn't making you happy. It was weighing you down and dragging you down the energy. What is going on? But you're, you're actually dip deep diving in your divine feminine and you're speaking up and you're embracing this and you're moving on from what is no longer serving you either a fire sign male is coming a fire sign partner is coming into your life or this is you not taking up the bs and you're d d deep diving into your masculine as well you're going to be taking some time for yourself because we got the hermit card that popped up. You're taking some time for yourself because of the situation that was weighing really heavy. And I'm feeling like there was a lot of scattered energy, just a lot of weight on my shoulders. I'm also feeling like, you know, my throat is bothering me. I feel like that you were afraid of speaking up about how you truly feel. And we have the tower card because this is a transition that is shaking up your world and it's really left you devastated. 
but you're cutting through the BS. We have the Queen of Swords here. To move on from a situation or a relationship that was no longer taking effect, no longer was lifting you up, it was actually weighing you down. Because here we have Seven of Swords here, and you're being trapped by mindset. You're forgetting the cup that's being offered to you. You have an opportunity to move forward. Even though you're grieving here with the five of cups, remember the two cups that are fill, are up. Don't focus on the three that are down because there is hope because we have the mount and we have the building here. Either a fire sign male is coming into your life later, a fire sign partner coming into your life later, or you're going to be taking charge and deep diving into your masculine side. You're feeling bounded by this energy that doesn't help you at all. You're taking some time for self-reflection because you've been through something major, a life change. But it's going to work out at the end because we have the sun here. You're going to be taking a leap of faith with the fool. And it could be an entrepreneurial card, too. It, you know, the fool stands for entrepreneurship. You're going to be taking new adventures, a new start, and it's going to reward you significantly because you just need to nurture yourself and love yourself at this time. And you will be successful. You will be successful in this. Keep moving forward and don't get bounded with like the seven of swords here. Keep speaking up and not take the BS from everyone especially with some, a new love enters your life. This Knight of Wands, it feels like you're either deep diving into your masculine energy or actually a new partner is going to enter your life. That is the Knight of Wands here, a fire sign male or female. And... Because of being bounded by an energy, a relationship that was no longer serving you, you're moving on from this and you're taking time for yourself. And it really shook up your world. It really did. But we have the sun card that is coming out. You're going to be okay at the end. You're taking a big leap of faith and you're going to be on for new adventures, which is going to help you nourish relationships and nurturing yourself and it will bring you success so let me go ahead and pull out the art of allowing cards and then we'll get a affirmation of what is to come and then i will repeat it twice so it get, it comes through let's go ahead and take a look what is the affirmation for Taurus for mid-February 2020 reading? What is the affirmation that we need to hear today for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is the affirmation for today? I allow myself to walk my path in non-judgment. I allow myself to walk my path in non-judgment. And I'm going to draw one more because I feel this one is called. I allow myself to be my true self at all times. Again, I allow myself to be my true self at all times. So that is it. Good luck with everything and good luck on your new adventures, Taurus. And remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day, evening or afternoon. And also, if you want to do that $5 special, email me at 
Melissa's intuitive reads at gmail.com and it will be in the description box below. Love you a lot. Have a great day, evening, or afternoon. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.